Hello and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Boundary. Today we are joined by West Indies and Barbados pace bowling spearhead Shakira Salman. Welcome Shakira to the show. Thanks, Moet. Uh, so first things first, like I would like to begin with your first foray into the sport. So how did you first take up the sport and who were your idols while growing up in Barbados? Um, I think it became natural for me uh, as a youngster because I grew up in a community filled with boys. Uh, if I wanted to play anything, it was whatever the boys were playing. So from a tender age, I grew a love for cricket and football. But I think cricket stuck because my uncle played cricket and I remember watching him and across the playing field and watching him and I, I, I just really grew really fond of the, of the sport. Then I played it in primary school and I have a lot of science. So how excited are you about getting to participate in the Commonwealth Games for the first time? And how important is it that women's cricket is now finally a part of the Commonwealth Games? As well? I'm very excited. Uh, firstly, to be in in involved in a major games. Uh, obviously, cricket is always separate in, in its World Cup. So to be involved in a major games and to be able to share space with other athletes and see how they operate as professional athletes, I think that would be really good for, for the game. And women, I think it's really good for women's cricket. No more people will be watching the game, not only people who are interested in cricket, but more people, people who are interested in the Commonwealth Games will be watching. I think this can do wonders for women's cricket. So how is your role for Barbados like? Like, is it similar to the West Indies team where you're expected now to bowl in the middle and later overs of the innings? Or uh, here it's similar to the role you performed for West Indies earlier where you open the bowling and then come back and bowl in the end overs? Yeah, um, it is quite similar to, to what I'm doing now for West Indies. Um, the funny thing is that I've done that, I performed that role for Barbados for a while because we have someone for Barbados who, we have a number of choices as when it comes to, to who can open the bowling for Barbados. We have three West Indies players, including myself, who, who open the bowling for West Indies or who have opened the bowling for West Indies at some point. And we also have a youngster who's done really well at the regional tournaments for a number of years with new ball. So um, bowling in the middle actually makes me quite flexible. Um, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm becoming a utility player with the ball. I'm still able to open the bowling whenever the captain needs me, but I'm also able to come in the middle overs and control that the middle. And of course, it doesn't change with me coming at the end, at the end of that overs. Right, but which stage of the bowling, uh, of the innings do you enjoy bowling the most in? I still, I still really enjoy opening the bowling. Um, my strength has always been my ability to swing the ball, so I still really enjoy it. Um, fortunately for me, uh, I got, I did get a chance to bowl when the ball was still fairly new at the last World Cup against India. I still got the ball pretty early, and I was able to swing the ball for those couple of overs. So I still really enjoy that. But I also enjoy the challenge of closing out the overs and bowling at the end in, in those depth overs. And you're somebody who's played a lot both under Stefani Taylor at the international level and under Haley Matthews at the domestic level. You're also a very senior player for Barbados, so I'm sure you've also been a sounding board for Haley over the years. So just how happy are you that she is now the captain and your thoughts on the leadership styles of both Stefani and Haley and how are they similar or different? I'm really happy for Haley. Um, it's good to see the way she's grown. Uh, I was her captain at some point for the domestic team and then Barbados realized that she was she did become a leader and she was the right person to lead the team and I'm really happy to see that she's been given the opportunity to lead the West Indies team at the next level um obviously we're really grateful for what Stefani has done over the years she's led well and she's led by example especially the way that she's performed for the team um I think she will continue to do that and um she will continue to lead with the bat I think we've seen that Haley is becoming more consistent with the bat as well She's always been really good with the ball, but she's become really consistent over the last year and a half with the bat. And I think as a youngster, she will lead, she may lead a bit different to, to Stefani. She is a lot more outgoing. Um, I think that may work that, that may work in her favor for the team. And maybe we'll see a different brand of cricket with Haley at the top. Of the Barbados team, because obviously there's you, there's Haley Matthews, who's one of the best spinners in the world. And then there are bowlers like Kalia Ellen and Shanika Bruce who've done really well at the domestic level and somebody like Alia Ellen even did really well at the World Cup earlier this year. So how would you describe your bowling and how strong do you think it is since you'll be competing with more experienced international teams at the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, um, <laughs> there's no doubt bowling is our strength. 
Um, I think the good thing is that, like I, like I alluded to a bit earlier, we do have three West Indies players who have bowled at the international level for the last, at least the last year and a half. Aaliyah obviously being the more the most recent addition to the West Indies team. And she has represented herself really well when she got the opportunity. But one name we didn't call is Shamila Connell. And we know how well she can bowl. She did well, uh, especially in that semi-final when she came back at the end to bowl against Australia. I think I think she did really well in, in those death overs. So I think our strength is definitely our bowling. Uh, having Haley to come in with the spin in those middle overs will, will also assist us. I think what's really key is that we have a number of swing bowlers going into going into England. We can we have a good chance against the international players. Uh, was that you uh, from the time that you first started out? There are like three or four other West Indies players who are still around and still in the team, but all of them are either top order batters or spinners, like be it Stefani Taylor. Deandra Dotton or Haley Matthews. Haley Matthews obviously started a little later, but yeah, Stefani, Deandra, and even Anisa Mohammed, all of them have been around for a long time now. And West Indies' strength in international cricket, at least in the last 15 years or so, has been spin bowling. So how difficult has it been to sometimes be the solitary pacer and keep your performance at such a high level for so many years and also to maintain that consistency? Yeah, it, it, it's obviously meant that I've had to keep myself really fit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it has been a challenge. Uh, like you said, we have depending a lot on, on Spain bowling. There were times, when I first started, there were times where I wouldn't even come back to bowling in the middle. So I would bowl at the top and then I wouldn't come back until the death overs, uh, which obviously was a challenge. But I worked really hard on, on bowling with the old ball and bowling in those middle overs. So it could be an option for the team then, especially if the spinners aren't doing well. Um, I think I'm really proud of what I've been able to achieve that you said, uh, something like being the solitary pacer in the team. Um, it has been hard work, but I'm really proud of what I've been doing and hopefully I can go on for a couple more years. So what, what are the factors that make these teams really good in the format? Like what gives them an edge or why are these formats the best suited to these teams? <laughs> nah, that's a really good question. I think it's easier to say why we don't do very well in, in the longer format. Um, that's because we, we just don't seem to be able to bat for very long periods. But 20 overs means we only have to bat 120, uh, 220 balls. So we seem, we seem to try more that. Uh, the shorter the format, the better we, we, we seem to do. Um, I think also we, we have a lot of experience in terms of dealing with the pressure um, in those 20 overs, especially with the ball and in the field, we have a lot of athletic people, both on the West Indies team and on the, the Barbados team, who were able to get around really quickly and save those those vital runs. And I think I think all of that has added up in terms of helping us to, to be dominant in that format. According to you, who are the other teams that are the strongest contenders for the three medals at the Commonwealth Games? It goes without saying that Australia is the number one contender. Um, they've been playing really great cricket. Uh, we've been following them closely. Um, they're obviously in our group, so that will be a challenge. But Australia, um, England has been playing really well also. And I think you can never write off India, can you? India always seems to do well, and they've been improving every year. So it will be a challenge, especially with the firm that Harman seems to be in. But if you had to like give me two or three names from your team, who we've probably not seen a lot of, at the international stage, but who you think will shine for Barbados at the Commonwealth Games? Who would that be? Um, first name that comes to mind is Shanika Bruce. You did mention her, but you guys wouldn't have seen her. Correct, I think yeah. if you if you got a chance to look at the stats, the regional stats, she she's consistently done well at the regional level, and she was able to get most wickets in the recently concluded T20 competition um i think she does really really well with the new ball for us she, she's done really well for us so i think that's one to look out for and i think another one would be alia williams she's currently in england playing club cricket which which will board well for her because she gets a chance to acclimatize before the rest of the team gets down there i think she really stepped up with the ball obviously we lost deandra at the last minute for the regional tournament. She stepped up when we needed someone to, to bowl some overs for us. So I think those are two names that we can look out for at Commonwealth. 